These are the Minifuse 1 and Minifuse 2 audio interfaces from Arturia. This one is 99 US dollars and this one is 149 US dollars. What makes them so special? Let's find out. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. So can these be any good at this price? Well, you're about to find out. Before we get stuck into the specs and all that kind of malarkey, I'm gonna let you listen to a one minute demo I've made, including vocals, acoustic guitar, and bass guitar using only these units. As well as that, you're gonna hear some virtual instruments, which also came with these units, and any effects you hear, like reverb, some EQ, and the preamps I've used, also come with these units. Now I should say up front that these were sent to me by Arturia to try out, but I wasn't even required to make a video, let alone say anything specific. All the thoughts in this video are my own. They're not affected by Arturia whatsoever. So let's get started by listening to that demo. soul through the darkest hole to travel back to understand I live in wonderland Okay, so what about the specs? There's a couple of things about these audio interfaces which makes them a little bit different from others in this price range. Let's take a look. Let's start off with the differences between the two. The Minifuse 1 has a single XLR quarter inch combo input, allowing you to plug in either a microphone or an instrument. The Minifuse 2 has two of these inputs, allowing you to record two sources at once. Both models have direct monitoring, allowing latency free monitoring, but the Minifuse 2 has a mix control to blend your source with your door. On the back, both models have a USB hub, allowing you to plug in any other USB device, which would be super handy for, say, a USB MIDI keyboard. In addition, the Minifuse 2 has in and out MIDI ports. As we'd expect, both units have headphone outputs as well as monitor outputs, and both can provide 48 volts of phantom power for microphones. Both units are also powered via a USB-C connector, which connects to your computer. For the tech heads out there, the Minifuse boasts 110 decibels of dynamic range and has an input noise of minus 129 decibels. As you may expect from Arturia, all knobs and inputs feel strong and sturdy, and I like the simple styling of the metal case, which comes in either black or white. So I mentioned at the beginning that my demo included some virtual instruments and effects which come with these models. And I think they form an important part of your purchase here. So let's take a look and see what's included. So as you can see, there are six main components to the wonderful software bundle that you get with these interfaces. You get Ableton Live Lite, which is a great intro to home recording and multi-tracking. Then you get Analog Lab Intro, which is a great collection of keyboards. We'll be delving into that in a moment. Then you get four wonderful effects from Arturia themselves. From Native Instruments, you get Guitar Rig 6LE. And then you get three months subscription to Auto-Tune Unlimited and also also three month subscription to Splice Creator Plan. Now I'm gonna be delving into some of these a little bit deeper here because I use some of them in the demo. Let's start off with Analog Lab Intro. This is a cut down version of Analog Lab from Arturia, a wonderful collection of sort of vintage keys, synthesizers, and also some acoustic pianos. Now, as I say, this is the cut down version, but there's still 28 instruments included here with five different, 500 different presets 
as well. So I use that for the organ and also for the piano in the demo. Moving on from there, we get to the first of the effects. I use this plate reverb in the demo, and this is something I regularly use within my own recordings, this Rev Plate 140, a wonderful sounding plate reverb. And look at how much it normally costs. It normally costs 99 US dollars all by itself. Moving on from there, we get this awesome tape delay. I didn't happen to use it in the demo, but it really is very deep, this one. It's a, it's a tape saturated delay um, with, with some reverb there as well. So many different options with this for different types of delay. And as I say, very analog sounding as well. And again, cost $99 normally. Moving on from there, I did use this in the demo and I often use it on my own recordings. This is a preamp, okay? This adds a little bit of sort of analog warmth to the signal going in. This is the pre-1973, uh, by the way. And also I used it for some EQ as well. There's a three or four band EQ, which is useful enough in many, many cases. So I did make use of that in the demo. Again, $99 under no normal circumstances. Moving on from there, oh, this, the chorus June 6, you may not believe me when I say this, but this is actually my favorite chorus plugin from anybody. I find it's wonderful because you can just drop it in on a track. It's lovely on, you know, keys, but also on guitar as well. Sounds wonderful. And it's quite straightforward to use. Just sounds great great out of the box. I absolutely love it. Um, and finally, in the demo, I also use Guitar Rig 6 LE for the bass guitar, for the sort of amp sim on the bass guitar. So all in all, a fantastic collection of virtual instruments and effects, which are going to do you very, very well, especially if you're just getting started. So I know for many of you, the price is definitely going to be right on these. And if you want to check the links in the description down below, there's a couple of places where you can buy these at that great price. Now, if you're just going to be recording, say, one vocal, something simple like that, then I definitely think the Mini Fuse one is the one for you at this price point. And I love the fact that it's got that USB port on the back as well. It's a great feature, which I don't think I've seen on any other audio interfaces. Now, if you're going to be recording something in stereo or perhaps recording two sources at the same time then you definitely for the extra $49 want to be going for the mini fuse 2 and I also love the fact that it's got those midi ports on the back as well and I know a number of you are going to be happy about that now if you're recording mobile just plugging these into a laptop and you may be moving around then these are also great choices they've got a nice small footprint they're nice and light and they get powered from the laptop itself so you don't need an extra power brick or anything like that. Now I think one of the things that really sets these apart from other audio interfaces in this price range is the software that comes with it. Great virtual instruments, great effects and a number of other things with these as well. You heard those in the demo. That's the kind of thing you can be making with these audio interfaces. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. Are these the kind of audio interfaces you may consider buying? Would love to hear your thoughts on that. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.